So good morning. Good morning. Uh, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the Nalak 4.0 webinar series. Thank you. So Nalak 4.0 webinar series is the one of the beginning and distinct initiative of Chennai Technology. Under this Nalak 4.0 webinar series, we have been conducting webinars in different scenarios, such as technical webinar series, such as series, career guidance webinar series, innovative talk webinar series, and other webinar series. So this Nalak 4.0 webinar series has been purely initiated in order to enhance the uh, knowledge of faculty members, students, and uh, such as community, and this knowledge for part organization is being successful under the guidance of our honorary chairman, Sri P. Sridham, who is one of the uh, first generation successful entrepreneur, industrialist, managing director of the MBA Group of Company. And today we have Mr. Vegan Vek Ramanathan, so we are going to deliver an excellent talk on how to prepare and what is the training guidance and gate. So uh, he is from uh, he is the co-founder of he is the co-founder of Master Academy, and it is our great pressure uh, to welcome Mr. Vivek Ramanathan to this wonderful forum, and he is gaining a lot of uh, students in preparing game and in competitive examination. So it is my great pressure to welcome Mr. Vivek Ramanathan to this knowledge for Welcome, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And. Chennai Technology was established in the year 2010 by our honorable chairman, CP Sridhar. And today, our institute is in the top second position among all other private engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. So, it is our great pleasure to welcome you all to the forum. And let me request Mr. Vivek Ramanan, sir, to share your session. Definitely, sir. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Thank you to the Chennai Institute of Technology Management for providing this wonderful opportunity to communicate with the students and the faculty members and all the people. I'm really glad to you know start this session. Let me present the screen and uh, any doubt I can know it's a wonderful platform. You know, this is the first time I'm using the platform. So but I still feel you know it is very much user friendly. So I take this opportunity and I will be communicating with all the you know people over here in the session and uh, give you I will be you know giving you all kinds of you know the clarifications whenever it is needed and i'm really happy that you know when, when there are like more faculty members involved from other different colleges i wish you know like the information that i am sharing with you can be disseminated to the people to the student community now effectively it's not like 100 students are only listening here when there is one faculty member automatically one professor is there you know he or she can completely disseminate it to thousand students now so that is what the objective and that is happening through Chennai Institute of Technology. So I'm really happy to take this, you know, uh, session to be, you know, like, you know, taken to different people. So let's start the session. And thank you, sir. Thank you for the introduction. So let me present my screen here. I hope uh, the screen should be visible to all from here. If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. May I know if it is visible? Sir, please, you can go ahead, sir. Sorry, sir. Please, you can go ahead. It is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I would like to just turn off my video if required. Is it fine, yes, sir? You can, you can, you can do yes. it, and you can go to your session. And if any disturbances, I will, I will interact with you. Yes, sir. That's fine. Sir. Thank you. Me. Thank you. So welcome everyone to the session. And I'm the co-founder of Masters Academy. This is a institution that is from uh, Coimbatore, and uh, myself Vivekanandana. And this session is all about the career opportunities and preparation strategy for the gate 2021 and as well as competitive exams about me this is myself you know having a better you know a photo of the image for myself you know this was way back and this is myself vivekanand and raghunathan the co-founder of masters academy the gate educator and academy so guys i'll be teaching all the people you know from mechanical engineering to all the department because of one good reason with eight years of teaching for gate, but I'm still, you know, worked as a completely a different platform, you know, different uh, profession I was into. In the Indian Overseas Bank, I was after clearing the IBPS exam, I was there and uh, cleared this AFCAT exams, right? So all of this were done just to improve myself where I'm standing, you know, it's like, you know, uh, to be left out. I felt like, you know, write as many exams as possible to see where you stand. Right, so this IOB and AFCAT preparations and the selection of into IOB to IBPS and AFCAT final rounds, you know, this really helped me to mold myself to teach the students not only 
being a mechanical engineer, I teach them, the mechanical students, but I teach civil students, Ripley, EC, right? And CSC. Why? On which background? The general aptitude that comes in for your general aptitude core topic that comes in the gate exams. So that is very important. And with the ideas of teaching uh, across India and the Indian patents published, I love to have more patents in my name. And yes, it is going to get granted more versatile person, I would say, and mentor 10,000 plus students across India. This is a small introduction that the SAR has given it to, now given it to you all. And uh, sorry if I'm using the word boys or guys by any chance, respected doctorates. I'm really, uh, you know, I just went, I'm going with the flow after, you know, having the words with the students. I'm, I'm, I'm kindly adjust with it. If I'm going with a flow saying about boys or guys by any chance, right? So, uh, this is a humble request to all of you, you know, friend, up friend, I'm saying this. And uh, let me go into the next uh, slide now. Uh, a dream job, right? A dream job is dash according to you. Is the first question I usually ask the students community here. May I know the words, like, you know, the suggestions from you when it comes to your dream job? Please don't give me a word like the designations that you're planning for. Sir, mm -hmm. I want to become a risk. I want to become a scientist. Sir, I want to become a junior executive in ISRO. I'm sorry, IOCL or in ISRO. Don't give me the name of the company or don't give me the designation. But what kind of a job will make you feel it is a dream job here? It's a dream job. I'm on the chat box here. Actually, I am available with my voice, I think. Sir, uh, I'm still audible now, sir. People over here are giving me a message that your voice is not audible. Is my voice audible now? Can anyone give me a message here other than Shweta who has said uh, my voice is not audible? Can everyone hear my voice? Am I audible? Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for the messages. Thank you. So ma'am, please kindly check it now. Thank you, thank you. So, good. So your dream job, it should be, you know, according to you, it could be like anything. Can I get a message on this, please? Sirisha, Gautam, Banu, Chitra, Kashi, Vishwanathan. May I, may I get some kind of a messages for this? Could you just type in here now? Kasi, Prashant, Sirisha, Gautam, Banu. What do you think a dream job is all for you? As quick as possible, now we will complete accordingly the sessions. I mean, the question, and we, we can move on here. Just quick messages now from everybody. Make it, you know, when you interact, it will be more and more interesting. I'm, I, I'm glad that, you know, you. I will get some messages. Varun Teja says, IES. Yes, sir. More than saying the designation or the profile that you will be into, something kind of. A dream job is any any kind of a job for me. My own startup, okay. Could be a startup, okay. Any one job, even when people say like Varun, IES, okay. Kasti Vishwanathan says it's IES, okay. Okay. Then a startup is all wrote here. A web designer. I, I requested our students not to mention the designations or what the end of a profile they want to be, but the dream job should offer something now nah? that is a good salary and income, we can say, right? A respect in the society for the job that you have. Uh, then shall we have like software engineer challenging? Ah, these are the words, Siri Sharma. Like a challenging one, an interesting one. More than that, we should always look for the satisfaction. Right, sir. More than that, we should look for the satisfaction. A satisfactory job should be there. Food auditing officers. 
So nice, nice about Bonoteja to mention the, those here. Thank you for that. So these are some of the words I think I have picked up from all of you. My own startup, my 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 go share that. Okay, sir. Thank you. So these are some of the important information. I think you know we need to understand a dream job where I am focusing right now. Okay, sir. Write the names like food audit officer or into the marketing and affiliate marketing. All these stuff. All these stuff, even the web designer, all these are written here. But please understand, any zone that you are preferring will have the satisfaction you are aiming for. Should have the challenge and make it more interesting. Should gain you the respect in the society. And still a good income or the profit or salary, whatever you say. Right? When it comes to your right. Yes, exactly, Varun Teja. So these are the ways one can join. And when I'm connecting these terms right now with a very important one, the government sector. The government sector, my dear student. Now, now, please understand. I think this slide has to be quickly moved through. Before that, we have to understand what are PSUs. I think this course, this page is available right now for all. A PSU. Let me put it in a simple note. This is like the public sector undertaking. We write right. The expansion is public sector undertaking, but this is not the complete definition for. Uh, public the PSU a company that is okay that is taken over by the government of India Right, the government of India. Please understand. Please understand this. Right. So the government of India and the stocks, the company stocks are majorly owned by them. And please understand the company stocks are majorly owned by them. Let me put it in a simple note with an example. With an example, right now we will we are talking about the connectivity with uh, the Tamil Nadu. We will take it. This stands for Tamil Nadu Electricity Board. This is a company. A state owned company, please understand this is a state owned company. Okay, state owned company. Whereas we are talking about uh, NLC, Naveli, Lignite Corporation. For your information, the TNEB is available, is you know, it, it, it's spread across Tamil Nadu. NLC is in one location at Tamil Nadu. But for your information, we all know that. TNEB is a state government owned company. Okay, that's why the Tamil Nadu is coming into picture. And you, are, you might say the Navy is still part of Tamil Nadu, not, so this should be a state owned company. This is where the trick comes in, you know, tricky one comes in. That is, we should know that NLC, TNEB is only within in Tamil Nadu. Okay, only within Tamil Nadu. Whereas NLC is even located in one more place. May I know if anybody has a thought on where NLC is located other than in Naveli. For information, everyone, yes, NLC is, is a company that is located more than one place. Other than Naveli, there is one more place. Anyone having a uh, good idea about it, you can share it here. Hi, Nirmal Mos Moses. Sarana Kumar, good morning. Thank you, Chitra Lakshmi, for saying that word fascinating. Definitely, that should be added over there. So, may I get a word on this? Let me put it quickly. Then, I think there is a small delay in our presentation. Maybe after I mentioned the statement, uh, I think I'm getting the message quite delayed, but not an issue. My my dear students, and uh, I'm, I'm more citing with the students here, more communicating with the students here, uh, so that anybody having the doubts can ask me. This is more a question for the students here. Okay. So more than one place that is in Bikaner district in Rajasthan, sir. <clears throat> so now you can see why NLC is not a government owned company, but it comes to PSU. Please understand a PSU will be available in more than one state. Okay, that is very important to all. 
I hope it is clear to all, right? So that is very, very, very important point. The Naval Lignite Corporation is located in two different places, one in Tamil Nadu and one in Rajasthan. And definitely these company, this company of NLC is governed by the, UN, the government of India, not by the Tamil Nadu government or the Rajasthan government. So that is how PSUs are classified and you have the classifications of PSUs based on the permissions and the, the performance they, what they put in every year. So they can be classified as uh, Maharatna companies, Navaratna companies, and Mini Ratna companies. Okay, under this you can have the classifications from IOCL to OMGC, right, to your uh, BSNL, all these. So this is how generally we have the PSUs getting grouped across. Okay. So we are just got an idea about the PSUs. Now let me present the important slide to you all. That is, any student from any different colleges is quite okay. But right now we are connected with Chennai Institute of Technology. So we will put this uh, important note. A Chennai Institute of Technology students from any department they may be, and respectively we will take MEC or EC or Triple E or CSE, whoever it may be, but a Chennai Institute of Technology student or from a student from PSNA or a student from all other colleges. Um, please understand the job offers on the government sector. I have classified here as two different ways. This is an important slide because this is how the examinations are conducted across the country. And please understand when it comes to an engineering job, there are two classifications state level and central level. So, state level, you can see the TNPSC, TRB, TNEB, Metro Rail Corporations, Motor Vehicle Inspector. Sir, you might ask me how TNPSC. Sir, TNPSC do conduct a engineering based exam. Now, it is called as Assistant Factory for Assistant Director of Factories and Safeties. Okay, Factories and Safety. Please understand this itself is a posting equivalent to the IES officer. Whoever has asked me this question, no statement, whoever has said the statement here, I think Varun or Kasi Vishwanathan, both of you, if I'm not wrong, mentioned the name IES when I was asking this question. Yes, isn't it? So I wish to tell both of you people and to all others, this assistant director of factories and safety is, is equal to an IES post. But it's a Tamil Nadu level posting for you. Earlier, this exam was conducted in the name Combined Engineering Service Exam for Information, sir. Now they have given all kinds of, you know, the best plan and the portfolio when a student joined the TNPSC Combined Engineering Service Exam, the so called now as Assistant Director of Factories and Safety. So the best post across Tamil Nadu would be this for an engineer. And you have teacher recruitment board where you can become the, uh, where you can become the, Assistant professor in uh, engineering college or lecturer in polytechnic colleges. Sir, I have cleared this TRB exam also for information which I haven't mentioned there along with the gate exam and IBPS and RCAT. So these are my accolades actually. And TNE, the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board, this is the upcoming examinations. Metro Rail Corporations and Motor Vehicle Inspectors. Sir, for information, any aeronautical engineering students are uh, given the, you know, there is a GO pass to appear themselves for the ISRO exams nowadays. Okay, sir, please understand this. Like this, there are many GOs available. Any production engineering students can write the exams on uh, mechanical engineering across Tamil Nadu. Any production engineering students, you can inform this to your friends. Any production engineering students are eligible to write a mechanical engineering job within the state, but not outside the state all the time. Please understand. So, Tamil Nadu government, if they are conducting any exams, for all this, if there is a mechanical engineering posting available, a production engineer from NIT Tirichi, or from PhD College of Technology or GCT or any other colleges, they are MITs, right? Or from these colleges, the students are allowed to write the exam and they can get the postings for a mechanical engineering background. So these are some of the important informations which I would like to share to all, right? So this is very important. So these are the informations valuable for the students. Now look at this, the central government engineering jobs for a graduate under UG. Right? See, Indian Engineering Service, now the name is IES, not IES, it is ESC. We have to take it as Engineering Service Exams because there is a difference, uh, you know, the confusion created between Indian Economic Service and uh, Indian Engineering Service. So nowadays it is more called as Engineering Service Examinations. And uh, PSUs, that is what I was mentioning. Sir, if through NLC, just now you told me, sir, that NLC is coming under PSU and why did you write it separately? Don't worry. These PSUs, I, uh, I am mentioning it as GATE. 
through gate and these are the PSUs where exams are conducted separately. So I'm terming them as non gate. Okay, let me explain this after this slide. SSC where you can become the junior engineer. This is the vacancy that was, you know, today called for and your you know the exams will happen after the September is what the promise is from the SSC J you now and Metro Rail Corporations. Again you can see this is for the other states like central since we are calling it up. Non-engineering jobs, please understand we know all these stuff. State level and central level. TNPSC group one, two, two A or four. Right? RRB, Regional Rural Bank. This is very interesting, sir. Tamil Nadu Uniform Service Recruitment Board for the police. So there are wonderful places to prepare for this. Okay, forest service. This is all for the Tamil Nadu side. Please understand if people are from different states, for a request, you can relate it with your own state level examinations. Right? So, central level, you can see UPSC. Right? Uh, you can become an Indian administrative service and you can be part of it, Indian police service. All this SSC, staff selection commission. Again, see here the difference. Just like TNPSC in engineering and SSC in engineering, you have SSC for non-engineering exams also okay for the combined graduate level postings right so nda and na this is for your navy and army after this is the one i have cleared ibps i have cleared rba sir i i was i joined iob and i resigned it because i'm more passionate towards teaching i'm typically from a very moderate background in a family but still i i just following my passion so far so have mentored more than 10,000 students is a dream come then you know being part of a uh, job that is like when people say no that should give me a satisfaction then I just left it over there So RBA SBA all these places you have a specialist officer Probationary officer or a clerical carer all these are available for you just like the rural bank Okay, so Indian Forest Service and insurance So these are the places where a student can put them and prepare please understand a student should only prepare on a similar model Then they can succeed it is not like you know I prepare for uh, IVPS and I will prepare the NPSC also no I prepare for uh, I prepare for the central level. The engineering background is where you can see there won't be much trouble. There won't be much trouble, but yes, there is a difference between IES and GATE. Okay, a student preparing for a GATE exam can opt for these many exams, but it is not possible for them in the way, right? A PSU exam can be easily written, but it is not possible for them to write in case of the IS exam right very easily because it requires some additional effort to be put in. So similar note is what we are relating with the, between the IBPS and the TNPS. So similarly, we have to relate them. So any kinds of doubts you have, uh, I requesting all the senior professors, all the dearest associate professors, assistant professors, faculty members to even have a word on this. If there is any points required from my answer, I'm really glad to support everyone because it's all we are serving for the students community. So let us take this opportunity. Yes. These are the papers the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay has mentioned here. Please understand the blue color 26 humanities and social sciences and the 12th one environmental science and engineering. These are the two new papers that was added by the India IIT Bombay for the upcoming 2021 paper. And everyone should understand this important paper XE where this XE stamp comes from sir engineering sciences. Why sir? Why specifically I'm saying this? Please understand now a student, a mechanical student can appear for two papers he can write mechanical paper as well as the production engineering paper he can write a mechanical paper as well as the engineering science paper sir please understand or he can write even a production engineering paper and a engineering science paper so this is applicable for even a civil engineer along with engineering sciences a chemical engineering with us engineering sciences or your uh, very importantly these people because look at this subject you can understand them Look at the subjects, you can understand them. Or even a metallurgical engineering, people can write mechanical engineering, mining, petroleum. These many people can write the exam engineering sciences. Please understand here why? Because the syllabus is so. See, this is the production engineering paper. I mean the engineering science paper. Anybody requiring any additional doubts on this, you can communicate with us. I will be sharing the link to ask your queries after the session. People are most welcome to join there and ask a question and you can leave accordingly. There is no problem in it. So I, I will be posting the links at the end. If people are really interested, I would, I would definitely share the links with everyone. And uh, this is all for information, sir. So this is how it stands. If two papers has to be prepared, you can prepare a fluid mechanics with uh, someone who said would want to become a food auditing officer. You, you have a good option to join IIT Guwahati, IIT Karakpur. So these are the places where you have the 
IIT M Tech program for all the people. People are thinking from food technology department, they don't have an option to prepare for the M Tech with the gate course. But see here, engineering science offers that for you. You can prepare a food technology paper with material science paper or food technology paper with atmospheric and oceanic science as two papers to be selected over here and one chemistry paper compulsory for 25. And this is for the Excel. So here you are selecting now. And similarly, you have the XC paper here and we can accordingly select it. So this is for Excel. This is for your XC paper. Okay, this is for your XC paper, the two optional sections. So it will completely give you 35 marks. Okay, it will completely give you 35 marks. Please understand. So these are the papers one has to select, my dear students, my dear people, so you can use it accordingly. So just two papers along with engineering mathematics plus general aptitude, where they ask for 30 marks. This is how it goes. Right? So yes, we can. I can let you know about this Kasi in the coming days. Please will give me that uh, uh, space because uh, I will complete the session moreover and let, let you know, right? So it is all about the notification when I'm mentioning it separately. Now, I told you that PSU I wrote, I wrote IES, which I'm renaming it as ESD. Everyone, I hope it is clear to all of you. Then I'm con conveying it about the ISRO and NLC separately. Let us conclude this concept now. Sir, ESC and GATE. Please understand GATE exam is a one day match, whereas ESC is a three days test match, generally, a three to five days test match. Okay, depending on the exams, if I say that's a four day, and the fifth day is your interview, depending on the sessions. Okay, so 1300 marks, 100 marks. People who are having a doubt or interest in the ESC, let me share the important information later because we are connecting with the PSUs here. So let us take this gate exam. So as we all know, it's a one day exam. Okay. So now we have understood what are PSUs. The second one is gate versus non-gate PSUs. Please understand an IOCL or a BPCL or an NTPC, right? Or your uh, BEL or BHEL or BH. EML. Okay, all these companies, all these are the PSUs. Okay, even ISRO, NLC, Coal India Limited, then your uh, Visag, or more into your railway recruitment board. Please understand these two differences. All these are again the non gate PSUs. Excuse me for the handwriting, uh, trying my best. So non-gate PSUs. So these are the non-gate PSUs and these are the gate PSUs. So all these are actually PSUs, but they are now classified as you know, gate and non-gate. Why, sir? Because these companies, plus there are many companies, but these are the grouped companies that comes under non-gate. These are the companies who will recruit the students by taking into consideration the gate score. But these are the companies, they will conduct their own gate examinations. So since they are not connected, taking into account the gate exam score we are terming these PSUs as non-gate PSUs I hope it is clear to all right thank you Pradeep sir for your message so this is all the important information a student should understand sir how it is getting different first of all let us understand the list of PSUs that recruits through grade so this is even applicable for EC and triple where we can add this electronics corporation as well as the BSNL all into picture right so Baba atomic sir when I mentioned CG this is a central government this is a central government job. Please understand that BARC is recruiting the students through the gate score nowadays. DRDO is also recruiting. Sir, what about the different exam DRDO calls for? Sir, the, po the posting, the designation, whatever they give you will be different between a gate exam and their own examinations. Please understand this. So Hindustan Petrol Corporation Limited, all these are the list of PSUs. So my students and people can even share it with your other people that you know how these are like classified. DMRC. MTNL, Bell, BHL, BML is not mentioned here, so please add it. Bharat Heavy Earth Movers Limited, okay, and Indian Railways. Now the non-gate PSUs. The Coal India Limited, the Vizac Steel, ISRO, NLC, Railway Recruitment Board. See the posting what they call for. So what is the difference between a gate exam and a non-gate PSU? This is the crucial page. My list, my list, uh, participants. Uh, below the uh, you know doctors and professors and along with the students uh, for all of you this is an important slide where you can easily mention share it with the people that gate 
and non gate are having only one important differences between them when they conduct the examinations but that is a crucial part also so the syllabus on the broader picture if you say it is mathematics plus aptitude plus technical paper common for all the departments here it will be mathematics plus apti plus technical paper plus these three are same na plus your general awareness sir this is where the non gate exam will have this additional one so what is it if this is 100 percentage we are talking about we have to prepare the same 100 percentage becomes 90 percentage of the syllabus that we use it so 10 percentage not even a 10 it's like 5 to 10 percentage is what it accounts for a non gate even we can say this is 90 to 95 percentage based on the weightage of certain companies so what is the difference now you have clearly understood the syllabus is going to be the same 95 percentage same in both the cases only the five percentage is differing in the non gate psc and the very important one is here the exam pattern we are now narrowing down to gate psus and psus and the competitive examination leaving out esc aspirants of esp esc kindly post me your questions in the link that i will be sharing where we can discuss it later so exam pattern is going to be completely the 31 mark questions and the 35 two mark questions so you have a number of questions to be 65 questions and 30 plus 70 is 100 marks whereas here cil conducts two papers okay paper one and paper two where one paper will have 100 marks for three hours and this is again a three hour examination this will be a non-technical paper and the paper two will be 100 marks that will be completely a technical paper similarly nlc which is about to conduct its exam for the first time separately from gate you know after many years nlc is conducting for 80 technical questions plus 40 non-technical questions okay this is very important so you can see how their mark changes so the exam pattern changes between a gate and a non-gate and between all the different companies they conduct their own patterns but the syllabus remains same here it is all one mark questions here it is all one mark questions and when it comes to isro you have these are all three hours exam whereas isro conducts it for only 90 minutes they will give you 80 questions to answer all will be three mark questions and you have 240 marks to answer three mark questions all up. see the differences and most importantly a gate exam is always possible to be written by the third year from now and final years right in their college itself they can write these people you know the gate exam but non-gate exams are only possible to be written by the same people after the graduation after graduating so this is all the differences my dear students people so a competitive examinations where we are categorizing it to be a non-gate exam and a gate exam a gate can be written by a third year to final year students and you can write now two papers but Please understand a third year students writing the gate exam can only use the score for joining in IITs or NITs. Okay, but not they are able to join a PSU. PSU is not possible with a gate score from the third year. But when they are in the final year and they get a very good score, they can join the PSU or even IITs. So this is the difference. And they are, can write two papers, as I said, mechanical engineer paper along with XC paper. Sir, XC paper is also only applicable for the students if they write and they have a very good score even students having a 60 mark they are now all in their rank 14 okay all in their rank 14 but uh, all in their rank 1 is around 75 to 80 marks their score is not very much clearly known but this is an information but this is a very known information to me all in their rank 14 with the 60 marks from a this uh, engineering science paper this person has got two offers from iit madras from an iit bombay to join the m tech which means an xc paper will make you join the iits only so like this there are like more more inter you know some points to be looked into before you approach for the exams please understand so this is the best you know points that i would like to share here so far i am requesting all if you have got a clear cut idea more than what i have i mean about whatever i have shared i told you what is a psu and i listed down the psus i gave you the difference between the gate and the non gate psu with all the aspects and most importantly, I have shared all the kinds of uh, government exams a student, an engineering graduate can write. And when they can write, I have also listed down. Is it clear to all of the participants over here?
thank you thank you madam for that madalai sundaram right ma'am thank you so much uh for the immediate response i'm really thanking you uh, i hope it is clear to all so far then so i'm i'm moving on to the next one we have understood what is psu we have understood the list of psus that conducts through gate and non gate the preparation strategy is where it stands my dear people a student from a third year or a students from final year if they put themselves into that they were planning only for the engineering exams on the non engineering exams they are not going to chair right so they have selected engineering now okay we are only focusing on engineering exams now okay even you can ask any kinds of doubts on afcat or ibps preparations in the later part after the session i am most welcome to sh share with all the uh, participants over here because a uh, link will be shared accordingly so if they this is the preparation strategy please understand you have to select whether you want to score a 60 to 70 or 50 to 60 or it's going to be less than that 40 to 50 right then 70 to 80 or 80 to 100 whatever the score please understand app you have to fix the goal what is your you are planning for without any plan you know goal we cannot start it so a student planning for a 40 to 50 score can only get a seat in nits or any state government colleges a universities we can say right or any private institutions we can join nits itself is like a chances 40 to 50 score 50 to 60 you can select some iits maybe one or two psc one or two psc but 60 to 70 is where strongly we can say you can join an iit and the psu and again iits and psu and always iits and psu people who might get a job you know getting selected into an iit with a score of 50 to 60 it is more into the interdisciplinary course idc that is where iit bombay has given the suggestion of writing two papers a student from mechanical mechatronics department can write a paper in mechanical as well as in electrical now and he can pick up whichever course is coming better for him he can move into the same iit bombay for a mechatronics uh, interdisciplinary courses whatever is offered so please understand so like that you can select an interdisciplinary course that is development and technology offered by iit bombay so this is like you know iit bombay is always a you know a very diversified people there like you know, always they come up with some good ideas and this is the most important one even a course commerce background students are eligible to write the gate exams i hope right so that is very 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 important so commerce background students can write the gate exams believe me right so a student has to start from third year if he is now in the third year any students from third year i am requesting you to start in the third year itself your preparation all the guidance if there is anything you require i will support you on that and final year students yes don't think that like i didn't do it in third year don't worry six months is more than sufficient to crack any exams nations in a proper strategy so the proper preparation strategy should be always write the exams on gate mindset because a third year students if he writes the gate he has two opportunities now two big opportunities even a third opportunity is lying very important one is after writing the third year gate exam he can join he can get a score that he can use it for iits right and he can use it for the final year preparation he can score again and join psu or uh, the very important one is the placement my students when you are preparing yourself for gate you it contains mathematics paper it contains aptitude it contains technical paper even if you are saying technical paper only one design i will be completely covering from engineering mechanics to design machine elements vibration you can still score you know you can still score 50 marks with these two added accordingly okay let me put it so the final students after the gate exam while preparing for gate exam they can get the placements done iits and directly the psus so please understand this is how a preparation strategy should be right so best part is after writing the gate exam all these people they can also write their psu exam that is the non gate psu so this is how one has to make them prepare uh, sir is there anything i should stop here i am getting some okay thank you so i hope it is clear to all so your third year students writing a gate they can get into iits they can get the placements for in the final year or after they write the final year gate exam again they can join psu with a better score still and gate for a final year they can join iits directly or they can be, get into a psu and placement also will be more supporting they won't get this part because they are into the final year and they are writing and most importantly the non gate exams i'm telling you a 65 questions that is for a 3 hours if you write in a gate 
this is going to be standing out as a tough exam people say so but comparatively this is tougher than a non gate psu because 100 questions to be written in 3 hours will be very easy compared to 65 questions or even a 200 question say in trb trb 40 questions are exclusively the gate questions 42 mark questions and the 100 one mark questions is like the non gate psu so believe me why i was able to clear the trb examination is because the practice that i got in gate exams anybody willing to write trb exam exclusively can you still communicate with me and get the job done so i am be very glad to support on that part also what is the preparation strategy right now categorizing about gate exam because non gate you can still ask me ask many questions and i said if you prepare for gate non gate is going to be very easy so please understand this is only the important phase as i'm saying you now where i'll be giving my center of you now the presentation is more over here the core presentation is here engineering mathematics is for 15 marks this would change for ec 12.5 to 15 i'm sorry 14 to 15 generally for ec triple and for civil it is generally 13 marks okay and for uh, this is for mechanical and uh, most importantly we are talking about mechanical so we have general aptitude to be always 15 marks that is why i am the most important you know person you know giving that connectivity this is again 15 this is again 15 so you can see 28 marks for a civil engineer 29 to 30 marks completely for the ec and triple and cse students or id students and then comes your technical we are now focusing only with the technical paper now see my dear people we all know that manufacturing is how we can classify design is how we can classify thermal is how we can classify let me present one more thing as are you are there separately okay here the marks are distributed between 13 to 18 okay according to the previous 10 to 20 years of distribution of mark and here it will be again between 15 to 20 right here it will be only 8 to 10 definitely this time this will be having a more weightage because iit bombay is always suggesting with iur to be uh, focused on again whereas thermal is more focused by uh, iit madras people don't think that you know i will always this is the way but the the, the 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 way people we you know have gone into that the reputation says that yes they are focusing on iit delhi this time also proved you know it is 19 marks the gate 2020 they have asked for 19 marks in the one of the morning paper or afternoon paper and thermal is again iit madras we can see like you know iit karakpur i even bombay looks at this so here again you have 15 to 20 marks okay so 40 and uh, 18 58 and 68 here it is all about this so you can have it like you know 20 to 25 here so the ranges may change 50 to 25 okay 15 to 25 what the best part is preparation strategy please understand a student preparing for a gate exam in the mechanical background as i said in the third year if you prepare it completes mechanical completely 30 plus 18 48 you can score and you can still get a thorough knowledge in these three areas and you can still appear for a placement where in this area of interest is going to be manufacturing no 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 sir i'm not going to be planning for manufacturing i'll take designing then you can do but the most important thing is my dear people to score a 65 mark please look at this let me put the question you no know, important uh, subjects vibrations this is the important one hmt ior and you add manufacturing even in manufacturing you can list casting alone welding alone metal forming alone metrology so these four papers alone gives you two four three four seven eleven thirteen thirteen marks sir. okay plus one from your material science 14 plus two to three from your manufacturing technology that is machining technology so just these four papers if you prefer you can score 13 marks from this itself total then vibration eight marks hmt eight marks ior eight marks just list it out 24 plus 13 would be 37 37 plus this 15 plus 15 gives you 67 now tell me just preparing this many papers alone for vibration you don't require any prerequisite mathematics is fine but vibration it can be completely dull i'm saying if it is not prerequisite means you you can easily relate the subject because wonderful people are there you have your own professors they can easily teach you right so similarly we as a gate trainer we do that to all so please look at this so now you have completely excluded sorry from any design background faculties are there so if i even ignore the papers it is still possible for you to score okay it is possible for you to score so not always my student 100 percent syllabus completion is required when i say this word 100 percent gate syllabus completion is not required when gate syllabus is all this all this you can still ignore a thermal paper only take hmt you can still score 67 that too not a pass mark 67 
as i said the marks you can get 67 a psu please understand for that you have to concentrate it exactly top to bottom you go with ds kumar you go with goshan malik here right you go with shigli you go with ss ratan all the subjects you go with kira or you go with uh, you know all the wonderful books whatever you take okay you have to be thorough whatever subject you are taking so in the subject that you are preferring you should be 100 percentage thorough but even if you ignore a subject it is it is still sub, up, up, applicable to you to score a best mark i hope it is clear to all right this is very important sir iur means industrial engineering and operation research paper industrial engineering and operation research sir many people in many colleges this paper is an elective paper but in many autonomous colleges definitely this paper is you know given as a core paper definitely score, students you know who has a good knowledge in this paper will become an all india ranking because this 10 marks they cannot lose it now and i am an iur trainer i am actually from a production background from phd college of technology so i teach my students in iu about iu or completely the simplex method all the types from graphical method to the transportation problem and all the you know the uh, problems on the dual simplex all this stuff two phase method bigam method right so your queuing model your forecasting method all this comes in so this is how it is sir kasi right so you can ask me as many question accordingly after the session also so thank you for making yourself getting engaged and giving me all the question you know, uh, questions sir so now now tell me my dear students anybody looking for 75 plus marks you can take design completely sir you might ask me a question how it is possible for a student to not get a complete knowledge or basic knowledge in engineering mechanic and he still scores you know a 67 and he get into a job please understand we all know that there is a concept called as area of interest when it comes to the interview students when you are getting a good score definitely they will be asking you the questions the questions from the area of interest when you are very much thorough in that area and you can still project you can get it and we can guide you on the mock test also we can guide you on the mock test also and mock interviews i'm talking about right so these exams so let me put the important slide now over here i will erase it if it is not really noted i will be much glad to erase this out now 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 please look at this a student has to prepare all the subjects prepare the selected subjects based on the weightage as i showed but we are not done with this a small example to all to make it more interesting a mechanical department people can easily relate it two questions i would like to post it as a important line that is my second line in the preparation strategy okay this is also the ddr secret double digit rank secret okay that is my sixth slide actually sixth question heading but i am presenting it here itself sir may i know what is the uh, no crystal structure of osnate this is a gate 2020 question osnate crystal structure can anyone tell me this was the gate 2020 question is it a simple cubic or a body centered cubic or a face centered cubic on hcp how do you term it as anybody yes definitely one page definitely it will be done by me satyamuthi sir i have just shared that point sir actually uh, i have done that satyamuthi sir can you just connect with me so that i can share maybe at the final recap i will do it sir definitely thank you satyamuthi sir for your question so prepare the selected subjects Osnate as a dash crystal structure. Anyone can tell you your answers, please. Anybody from mechanical? I hope most of you are from mechanical. I hope. If I'm not wrong, but still, I'm commonly taking it as. But uh, anybody? After this, I will give you a one question. Yes, see, see, wonderful, Sirisha. Thank you. I will tell you a simplest way to remember this. You know how anybody can take a note of it. Osnate symbol is gamma, right? I will draw a face and I will draw a mouth. Now I will draw this gamma over here. It resembles a nose. Where is the nose in our face? This is at the center of the face. Now tell me, Osnate symbol or Osnate will be never ever will be forgot. No, will be forgot by you at any point. Am I clear, Mayuk? Am I clear? Yes, yes, thank you, Tangamani, uh, sir, uh, Kasi, sir, Mayuk, sir. Thank you, Satimut, sir, for noting it down. Am I clear? So, what is my next point is please understand 
the b s e n s e s r c cement please understand please understand what i am writing here okay bombay stock exchange sir why suddenly this point please look at this national okay stock exchange and let let this s be simply available because 2 4 and 6 this is nothing but your reinforced concrete cement okay but that is not what i am connecting here my dear students this is a shortcut to remember back side end side this is end side this is nose radius how i am relating the tool nomenclature see back this is rake so back rake and side rake this is how the tool signature should be designated okay so back rake angle side rake angle what comes the third if you have a confusion look at this bombay stock exchange and national stock exchange can easily make you understand it so e stands for end and this c stands for clearance where c stands for cutting edge as simple as that if you ask me to draw the diagram it's so simple it's so simple to draw hey it's so simple to draw so it is all how we are preparing okay it's all how we are preparing please understand so this is about your site clearance right this is about site clearance then this is about your end clearance and this is about your cutting edge angle and site cutting edge angle as simple as that so look at this end clearance angle and site clearance angle they are grouped and this for end cutting edge angle and site cutting edge angle and n stands for nose radius so how a bombay stock exchange and all these are really helping you sir ajay it is not going to be completely privatized sir so we have to make a clear understanding about it it is not going to be the way right sir so you don't have to worry about it uh utmost preparation and things we have to put in here because the way that you prepare for a psu as i said the map here what it will give you right i think i i erased that part your third year preparation for a psu through gate will definitely take you through your placements your higher studies your psu and why not your state level engineering exams sle i am talking about your state level engineering exams okay so these are the shortcuts we have to remember okay like this i have lots of shortcuts for you to make you understand because thousand concepts for gate if you prepare everything cannot be kept in mind but my students when they write the gate exam they will come and say sir wonderful sir the way you told me really helped me to score the mark that is what they tell me so please understand so some way or other the back rake side rake all this has to be mentioned in such a way to relate content this is what success behind the people preparing the exams right so we have to always look into the things very much confidently because i am always famous for creating shortcuts to my students okay so just a word to all of you so preparation sir now how to prepare effectively in this lockdown sir the best way is you may say self preparation and other sources when i say other sources there are n number of sources available for you but let me put it simple self preparation i had a scenario where my students they only prop the only problem with the self preparation guy is self motivation is to be taken care of like what the movie vijay where says no self motivation right similarly similarly self motivation is very very important when it comes to the sources you no know, any academies you bring in okay any academies you bring in that is why the motivation by the mentor is very much we look for that is where students join so how to prepare effectively in this lockdown is you can join any online platform to prepare for that so you can go with youtube anybody who is handling the classes in live you can do that ah uh, you can go with nptel and you can do that and very importantly the one where i am right now was an academy you can just come over here and prepare and give your best shot because please understand effective preparation should happen right now i said now 6 months of preparation to score 75 marks this is for the final year right from august september october november december and january so 30 days we we'll take it as like 30 days each commonly into okay uh 4 hours per day into 
five months, what will you give, sir? 120 into five, it is 600 hours. Sir, we teach just the 600 hours of classes in the evening between 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Okay, 6 to 8, then 8.30 to 10.30. This is how you can guide, get guided by the faculty. And definitely, you can secure a score because it is plus test series. This is going to happen. So the best way to prepare is going to be prepare the subject as I written. Prepare the subjects, meant, you know, get the support. And this can be even done self-preparation is what we say. And write the test series. These two are what people say. Write the test series, prepare the subject. Write the test series, prepare the subject. I will tell you, shortcuts plays a very important role to score the best marks. But most importantly, overall, the motivation. OK, motivation. This stands out to make a student from 60, he can jump on to even 70. Or from a 60, if he is lagging motivation, he will jump, come back to 50. OK, but on the day of examination, it is all with the student. See, a student is ready. He knows very well he scored 70 marks. Take the scenario. OK, a student is scoring 70 marks for sure, but he has 10 questions which he is unanswered on two marks. OK, 10, 10 questions which he has unanswered on two marks. Now, he knows that he is not good at it, but he is choosing luck as a favor to favor him. I'm telling you, don't ever favor with the luck on a gate exam because what if it is going to be a wrong? Three questions going to be wrong, then he will get a negative mark of two by three for each question. So he's going to lose two marks. So his score becomes 68 now. See the difference between 70 to 68, he may even lose a top PSU job. Okay, so it's always very really important. That is where a motivation and the guidance is very important. That is why engineering paper is not at all a distant education paper like any arts paper, right? So engineering paper is always guided by the wonderful personalities, wonderful educators, wonderful professors across all the institutions. So we have to understand this, right? So this is very important. So this is the very important slide, my dear students, how to prepare in this lockdown and six months preparations. And I told you a really secret. So subject-wise test, full-length test plays an important role. Any student writing 10 mock tests before the gate exam will definitely score with 60 marks, definitely, definitely will score. So a student aiming for an IIT is quite easy. Okay, 10 mock tests completely. Please understand along with the shortcuts. So students kindly make use of this opportunity. Still, I haven't given you much kind of any kind of a note in a sense. Don't worry, anybody willing, we can give the other points on that. But coming back here, the takeaway should be, the takeaway should be for engineering mathematics, general aptitude and analytical skills, this is more important for your gate. These three plus this. Okay. These three plus this together. These four will be useful for non-gate PSU. Whereas the fifth one, all this five is important for your IES exams or the ESC exam because you will have two descriptive papers to be written for 300 marks, 300 marks each. Okay. So what does it mean? Three, two descriptive papers. This is not case for gate exam or non-gate PSUs. Okay. So theoretical knowledge is more to be applied in over. So this is how it goes. So any students who have now got an idea about what is PSU, how to prepare for a PSU through gate or non-gate, right? And the preparation strategy I have put in to score a 60 mark and when he has to start from third year or final year and where it is useful for them in placements also. All this has been mentioned by me and even the DDR secret. What is what is that? The shortcuts. That is very important. Plus, plus the test series that is planning for. When that is coming from the top people, you can definitely grab it up. Min minimum 10 mock tests he has to write. Minimum 10 mock tests he has to write. Okay. Definitely he can score. Guys, I am having a complete idea background of general aptitude from the last 10 years of CSE, civil, everything that I have been compiled, I have compiled for a casting welding because I am a manufacturing specialist. So I will teach only gate mechanical in that manufacturing concepts, IUR concept and general aptitude concepts. So this is all for information. So this is about the way we teach the students. You ignore the educator's name, but this is how you have to spend your time and prepare. In a self preparation, what is the point lagging is if you take a book, Sydney H. Amner or a William D. Callister, okay, Callister, or George E. Dieter, the problem here is you have to spend more than one month for preparing the notes on metal cast, metal forming, and uh, metrology. 
but i will spend only 20 hours to you to teach you this is what you have to do i am not telling to me alone guys you can join anywhere but please understand are they give, are they going to give you a timeline like this and prepare you or not and this is a small comparison how it is going and this is just with the permission you can ask about this to me at later point also how it is going to be supporting you i don't want to more go into that and uh, before going looking at that please look at this this is about mr v satyamurthy is a gate educator he is an expert in maths this is how the planning sir day before yesterday uh, yesterday only he started the class he actually started from second and his engineering mathematics will cover 15 marks fluid mechanics 8 marks and from vibration so he is responsible for your 31 marks okay this is me myself vivekanandan okay where i'll be teaching welding now machining technology then previous year question discussion will be happening between this month then september iu are completely 8 marks general aptitude 15 marks october heat and mass transfer 8 marks then metal metal castings metrology metal forming this will be an again done and again a revision will be done by me in the january month so up to this you can see 6 11 19 34 42 45 and 48 marks 48 marks will be responsible by me say 46 we will take or 42 48 and 31 79 and he is mr suresh kumar sir 9 plus 8 17 the mark distribution is quite varied here could be even 8 so 8 8 6 21 mark so you can see the 21 mark this is 100 mark so all the subjects will be completely discussed by us you can come over and discuss yourself and this is where the effective way to prepare is still possible you can communicate with us you can ask your doubts you can share your questions also my dear students this is a live class like what you are interacting now that is how classes will be not like what academies are saying they will give you a pen drive or they will give you a uh, login to watch all the recorded classes it's not youtube classes like recorded ones sir. live classes okay live classes is that clear no 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 uh satya Muthi, sir it is only possible if you score uh, uh, if you can score around 30 to 35 maximum varun teja definitely i can share you that uh, part if you are really looking for that too uh, let me share it now. I will definitely share it with you. Okay, sir. I will share it with you. Uh, let me share the link for everybody to communicate with me accordingly. I'll take a minute of time before I come back to the session. Give me a space. I will share the links for you. So please understand, this is what we do in the Anna Academy. All the top educators, please look at this. I don't want to be taking it like, you know, people just understand where we are. You know, you can choose a Medici. You can choose an Ace Academy. You can choose a Gate Academy. You can choose a Gate Forum. Or you have other academies where you can learn from Chennai, from, you know, this is from Chennai now. Ace Academy is coming up. But please understand, all the top educators have joined here. All the top educators have joined here. And they are like ESC officers. Okay. People who are like Varun Teja or Kasi is looking for all the ESC officers are available here, the Gazette officers. They completed, the, you know, they felt like, you know, they want to stop and they want to train the students, they joined here. And, you know, I have cleared the gate and all the gate top scorers along with the, you know, the trainers are over here. Okay, the gate owner, you know, the gate exams and the TRB have cleared, na? similarly, IPPS have cleared. Na? Only these reputed people are working over here and we are teaching one year completely, sir. Not like, you know, six to eight months, you just go to your home and you can prepare. It is the fees along with your rent and the uh, fee, you know, the food, that expenses and travel expenses, which comes to 180,000. Should you invest your one year after your college to prepare from these academies or the same academy educators have already joined here, why don't you spend just a fees of so much, so and so, and you can learn from them. And you can contact me for any kinds of doubts, not only for joining, sir. I'm not telling you to are joining alone. You ask your questions and you can leave. I'm not here to promote about just join, just join. I'm here to just give you an idea. My only question is, my only question is, why after college, a yeah, year to be spent? Please take it a wise advice. You ask this question to yourself. And why 1,80,000 to be spent when you are from a student that who don't have a proper academy at your place? Maybe from uh, Dindical, maybe from Madurai, maybe from... No, we say, we have a... As I said, now here we have a regional academies at our own places. But still, if you look forward for the top places, we have to spend this much of money, right? Portion coverage, topic coverage. Will the educators be always available? See, I was a freelancer earlier. 
when i go to institution and i teach i come back i don't want to connect with the students but students who have a doubt they cannot contact me because next week i will be going to some other centers across india but in an academy it is not the way you can ask your questions every day like what how you are traveling with your mentors every day right so you can ask your question similarly now i will be communicating with you and i can leave so tomorrow you cannot ask me the question now but there it is possible in the an academy platform so these are all the important information so similarly the course plan of uh, ece ece and triple e is also there varun teja or anybody from other departments you can ask me that and i can share you that sir if you are okay if you are okay i will be sharing that to all of you right sir hello sir uh, yes sir uh, have you completed sir just a minute sir uh, one second sir. so i will just show the last page uh, and uh, i will just connect it finally yes so you can plan accordingly and you can ask your questions so we as a masters academy will support the students in the topic of master stack so this is a webinar series in youtube if you are interested only the deputy collectors the tahsil das who have recently joined from group 1 exam to group 4 exam okay from tnpsc or from an ibps or from the ieas or from the gate all the people expert people you can have a connection with before you start your preparation so a third year student can easily decide where you want to choose between engineering and non engineering jobs so this is where i would like to connect so this is my number this is my number you can make a note of it and uh, people you can have a good uh, you know queries where i can answer your accordingly so just give me a second i will share this uh, important link with that we can uh, this one so i'm just sharing it with everybody i hope this should be visible to all so definitely sir bala subramaniam sir so this is all about why after a college that's all sir i'm not saying it should be only an academy please understand so i'm not here to say like it should not be an uh, uh it should be only an academy is not my point but i am saying please be with your educators please be with your professors please be with your mentor okay from the college itself it is possible i am not i am saying here a one important point don't think about after a college i will go and prepare then why that four year has to be spent by a student right so this is my humble point to all of you there is the whatsapp link for the students and anybody to answer you know to ask your questions and answer it because of the time constraints i would like to conclude here but uh, very importantly please take a note of the you know important points on what to do with this this line engineering mathematics and aptitude and analytical skills are very important for a gate along with the general science and general knowledge for psu but a theoretical knowledge is more important for an ies esc examination aspirant so this is what we have to differentiate so please understand yes it is possible to score a very good mark and whoever has asked me that page listing out just a four finally that this blue color one engineering science engineering I mean, environmental science engineering paper and humanities and social science paper are the newly added paper by iit bombay and you can write two papers here and two papers i said you can if you are from mechanical you can write uh, the humanities paper but this is yet to be confirmed by iit bombay because the dates should not get clashed so accordingly they will group certain papers and they can write but the most important paper that any mechanical engineer or a civil engineer triple you know civil engineer can write is xc paper okay mining engineer metallurgical engineer petroleum engineer production engineer you people can write this xc paper please understand this is a engineering science paper so any doubts on this you can ask me and i can support you how to prepare for the examination so from trb background ibps background afcat background or even to teach you no know, inform more students on this let me stop here if there is any questions it can be answered in whatsapp or uh, i will take you know leaving it to the professor so over to you sir thank you for the opportunity sir and i think about this if there is any further clarity i can guide people accordingly thank you first thank you thank you so much for your uh, available time thank you sir sir thank you so much for your available thank time you. thank you sir and uh, so you have given uh, your view on different aspects 
not only on the find of gates and the how given how to have a shortcut for preparation and uh, so uh, thank you so much for your uh, valuable time and your participation and you have gained a lot for the students those who are going to prepare for the gates yes. and i hope this will be uh, highly useful to the students and and if the faculty have uh, i mean um, so many faculties have attended this lecture so okay. certainly this will help them to uh, guide their students definitely yeah uh, uh, thank you so much sir and uh, so uh, those who are interested you can contact uh, mr vivekananda vivekanandan uh, raghunathan uh, to uh, get into further and thank you thank you so much for your attention sir thank you we'll meet sir, thank you sir thank you to everyone for giving this opportunity and being on the platform and thanking everyone and uh, you know i hope you know this would be taken to all the people because i was from a typically you know a lower middle class family never got any kind of an exposure even after completing a college from a uh, best institution but i felt this awareness should be taken to all the people right from engineering or non engineering background so now they can easily take this knowledge and they can start their preparations accordingly from a respective stage so this is my point sir finally so what one final word sir it should be the institution where we are ready to support everyone like cit or any institution i'm talking about the colleges we are ready to give it for the four year students but why they have to do it after the college that is the only question they should take it in their mind this is the take away of the session sir all the educators we are there to support them professors but why do you have to leave her now for a place to prepare so it should be done within a year so where they can take additional supports from the online platforms like youtube npdl or an academy like us that is the only suggestion thank you sir thank you. thank you sir thank you we will meet again thank you thank you sir thank you everyone uh, thank you so much we will meet in tomorrow sir thank you